Hello and welcome back to this rainy downtown. It's actually <laughs> raining in the hood view this time. I find that pretty fitting. So yeah, let's <laughs> go ahead and see what family we're going to play today. And uh, I've got 10 to select from, so I'm going to roll a d10. And I got number four. Okay, so we have the Garth family. Now this is a family that is containing a slob. So what I was thinking was making them uh, on the poorer side. So the only houses then that I can choose from would be this row of houses. I'm trying to remember what the apartment units look like that I haven't used yet. I'm thinking that, you know, of course, uh, more space would be nice because it's a family of two parents and two children. But I, I also think if they're going to be really poor, <laughs> they're probably not going to be able to afford to an expensive apartment. Like this one to two thousand ones might be a bit excessive. Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, I think the one thousand option might work. I'm just going to sort of run through my pictures again and see <laughs> what the houses actually look like. And then I can decide. Okay, so I've been looking through things and uh, yeah, this apartment goes out because it's just a small apartment with one bedroom. That's not even, yeah, I think it will only just fit a double bed if I do the sink into wall trick <laughs> with the bed frame. Um, so yeah, that's not enough space for them. Um, this one would work, but it's also a bit on the expensive side. Looking at this... Uh, it's either going to be too small or too big, I think. So the only option I have here is this one, I think. And I do believe that the one that's around 1,000 instead of 2,000 is the top apartment without a parking space. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be able to go with that one. So I'm going to move them in here. And here we are. At the outskirts of the town, we can only see, you know, the high rise buildings here at the edge of the map. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here's the, the road leading away from downtown as well. So even though I didn't really build this one in particular to be extra run down, I guess this would be the most affected by, you know, <laughs> heavy traffic and uh, noise pollution, those kinds of things. So, oh, um, well, let's take a look at these apartments then. So it was this one that I'm assuming is the cheaper one. Yeah, that's the one with 1000. And then we have this one, 2000 because of the parking space, of course. And, oh, this is actually 1700, but it's also more expensive. So the one that would make more sense is this one, I suppose. It's also a bit more inconvenient because of all the staircases you need to use to get up here with no elevator and those kinds of things so yeah I think I'm gonna go with this one so yeah let's just go ahead and oh yeah money <laughs> um yeah this family is gonna be indebted pretty heavily uh, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Rebecca who is the actual slob who's gonna be the one with <laughs> with a lot of debt um but I'm just going to use a money cheat here that is enabled when you use the um, all menus on cheat. Uh, I haven't walked through this cheat in this series yet because it's a bit intense because you need to change one of the game files uh, to be able to access this. I could just, you know, cash in them a couple of times instead or use the family funds cheat if they have a unique last name which they do. But if you have that sheet enabled, you can just take, you know, money and set it to exactly what you want them to have. Uh, or you can do money plus 100. And it will add those 100. Same thing with if you go minus 100, then it removes that. So it gives you more freedom with how you want to manipulate the family funds. So that's a um, cheat I've used a lot in my Pleasant View series, but the first time I'm using it here, <laughs> I just felt like it was maybe too intense to start with. But yeah, 
that's how you do it. So if I just start him out with 5,000 here, he can rent that apartment. Yes. And I can get this family set up. So if you just take a look at the Sims to start out, we have Chase Garth, Rebecca Garth, Tiav Garth and Travis Garth. And I'm pretty sure that Tiav was one of John Smith's children. Yep, <laughs> he was or is. Yeah, so he's a kid that I imagine that Rebecca had pretty young. And that, yeah, there's a, an age gap between Travis and Tiav. Just taking a look at them like this, uh, we have Chase, who's a popularity sim. Rebecca is a pleasure sim and Tiav is also pleasure, like all the other teens, teenagers. <laughs> so I'm going to start out just taking out all the stuff I need. Yeah, that's it. So if I just start here with Chase. Ooh, he's not attracted to her at all. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad beginning. Let's see what happens there then. Um, yeah, I'm rolling a d6. I got a 1, and that's grill cheese. Um, yeah, I'm not going with that one, so I'm going to re-roll. Okay, got number 5. And that's romance, okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's more fitting together with the pleasure aspiration then. <laughs> okay, moving over to Rebecca. Let's see what she gets. One, two, knowledge. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this um, need benefits to the children before I forget. <laughs> Good. So, oh, wow. So, yeah, that's not going to stick. But Chase is currently a professional party guest. And, okay. <laughs> and Rebecca is a gas station attendant. Far more fitting. She has insane mechanical and creativity skill though. And he has pretty good skills in general. <laughs> and of course, Tiav is employed in a military career. What else? <laughs> yep. Could have guessed that one. Oh wow, this little kid has a lot more skills than his older brother. He has no skills at all. Okay. Well, so let's start with Chase here to randomize his lifetime wish. He wants to become celebrity chef. Okay. And let's randomize his hobby with a D10. Number five. Yeah, he's straight. So I'm going to set him to straight. Oh, he actually got the one he already had. That's music. Moving over to Rebecca, her lifetime wish is to come, uh, become media magnate and her hobby is going to be number nine, she's also straight, sports, okay. And that is interesting in terms of, um, in terms of what major they should have had because uh, both journalism and culinary, I'm pretty sure that they have the same major if that's literature oh art actually artworks and no oh, it actually wasn't literature at all philosophy has culinary oh both okay so it's either philosophy or art because i was kind of thinking that it would be interesting if they sort of studied the same thing they are the same age but they didn't get together until they were older like they reconnected or something but that's also interesting if they're not the least bit attracted to each other. Huh. I mean, they're both in the slacker career right now. Uh, so I guess philosophy is the one that would make sense for both of them. So I'm going to give them both philosophy. But then question is if I want them to both still be in the in this career. And also their skills are a bit odd. Oh, wow. Take a look at her personality. <laughs> or maybe should I say lack thereof. Okay, so she has been... All of the, the um, 
personality points that she's had has gone down by two. So, wow, yeah, I guess that points to her having scr- struggled a lot in life then. She's extremely sloppy then, extremely lazy. Yeah, comparing it to him, he's <laughs> far more balanced like that. Well, she has pretty high interest in cuisine and arts and crafts. So I guess the creativity would make sense. I mean, if she's this creative, she would be able to like sell masterpieces and stuff. So I feel like that's, <laughs> it, yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm going to drag it down to five instead. Mechanical. It's a bit random that she would have as well. She's not interested in tinkering, really. But I mean, if she's a gas station attendant, I guess she would have possibly been working with something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Can drag that one to down to five as well. Seems more logical that way. And I guess she can stay being a gas station attendant. I suppose since they live in the outskirts of town as well, it makes sense that that's a thing that's close by. And well... What other levels do we have here? We have changed him to like level 3. Because 10 is ridiculous. <laughs> I guess convenience store clerk could work. But I'm also thinking like, you know, if if they have a kid and everything, it's quite a bit of time has passed since they studied. He should have been able to find a job at some restaurant in town, right? Um, so I'm, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and... Um, give him the um, culinary career. I was also considering giving him one of the NPC jobs that I have, bartending. You know, maybe that even makes more sense. Bartending first, and then he's going to have to actively search for a job to find the culinary one. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, actually. I'm just going to... Yeah. Okay, good. So he's gonna take that job. Yes. Okay. And this is like level two, I think, because level one comes with uh, 50 <laughs> simoleons a day. So he has 100. And she has slightly above that. And it's really uncomfortable work hours. Yeah. And that actually makes sense with the skills too, I think, because he's gonna need those for his job. You know, these um, NPCs careers are very... Um, low paid but they're also very demanding in terms of skills so that's an interesting combination i think so yeah he's got more in cooking and charisma and cleaning and then uh, yeah he's got quite a bit of points in creativity as well but that makes sense if he has the music and dance hobby great and let's take a look at tiav um (laughs) yeah i'm gonna just roll a um a d4 to see how old he should be Four days older. Okay, good. So it's going to be an adult in three days. And how about these guys? Maybe like 10 days older each. Yeah, because then it also allows me to like play them for a while. They're going to have 25 days left. It still kind of makes sense, I think, with the aging. Although she was a very young mother. <laughs> nah, let's add five more days just in case. Yeah. Now they've got 20 days, right? And Tiav, sure, he can keep the paintball thing. <laughs> he's going to age up soon anyway. So let's see here what hobby he's going to have. Number five. So I think that's music for him as well then. He's straight. Ah, and he already had one, that one as well. <laughs> okay, then. No change in that case. Yeah, and let's check with Travis. He's going to have number three. Fitness, okay. Then um, I don't think it makes sense he has this much in creativity. So I'm actually going to drag this one down with two. And then everything else down with one because I feel like he has way too many skills. For a kid. Yeah, that looks far more <laughs> realistic. But he doesn't have anything. Um, so I'm just gonna go skills, randomize me. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to roll a d10 to see how much I'm going to reduce it with in this case. Oh, the, no, this is not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work at all because I got the three and he can't have that many cooking skills. Maybe I should do a d4 to see how many skills he actually has. <laughs> see, this game uh, really wants him to have a lot in cooking, it appears, because I got max on that one then. Continue with <laughs> With a four in mechanical, I'm not gonna roll charisma. Uh, how about body? Four again. Why are you maxing so hard? Oh my god, why am I just getting forced? This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm literally just getting forced. Okay, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Stupid die. Um, so it makes sense that he has a lot in music and dance, of course. He's a little bit more on the active side, so I guess, and he does want to become fit. So he could have high body. Let's just give him one in logic. <laughs> he can have four in creativity, fine. Two cleaning. Um, I can stretch it to three in cooking, three in mechanical. Yeah, let's do that. That feels better. <laughs> Right, so I'm also going to need to set this to season four. And yeah, I'm going to keep this around because I'm going to need to use this for Chase to give him some body hair later. But that is it for the setup of this. So I can go ahead and just start by giving them all cell phones. Except for little Travis, of course, he's too little. And yeah, let's start with makeovers here, I think. Let's start with Chase. Okay, so he's got a really shaggy hairstyle here. Um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty long. I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I'm going to keep looking, but uh, it might become this one. It actually looks really good on him. I think this is too long. Yeah. Yeah, this is a favorite as well. Gonna keep looking. <laughs> of course, I've got this as well, but <laughs> yeah, that's the way too um, young for him, I think. I could go with this, like tied back. That would be interesting to combine with, uh, you know, let out hair when he's sleeping or something. Yeah, no, too young looking as well. Yeah, that's way too much hair. Yeah, I think that's too young as well. Yeah, this could work as well. A bit shorter than the others, but... And this is pretty cool on him, isn't it? Yeah, I really like this for some reason. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It just... All fell into place <laughs> for some reason when he got this one. Yeah. Those eyebrows are good, I think. Maybe actually they are a bit on the too bushy side, even those. Maybe the first ones were better. Yeah, you can keep those then. Yeah, and I think I'm going to go without any beard or stubble on him. You know what? What does eyeliner look like on him? Hmm. No, I think that's too much. Yeah, let's just go with that. I do feel like he should have some sort of piercing, though. <laughs> let's see here. Guess the app. Buy jewelry. I have no idea what I'm clicking on here. And nothing is showing up when I'm <laughs> hovering over it either. I can't zoom in on this picture. Oh, my goodness. I think this is a nose piercing, because something is <laughs> shimmering in his nose. Um, yeah, I think that's a golden nose ring. Silver nose ring. In the middle, silver nose ring. But I was kind of thinking like the eyebrow, but how do I... <laughs> how can I find that? I guess I'm going to have to look for shimmering. No, this is still nose, I think. Nose, lip, 
And these are lip piercings. I think actually all of these are lip piercings. Or is this both? I didn't know that there were things for... Oh. No, I think I'm actually on eyebrow now because <laughs> this very small picture is having these little eyebrow things. Okay. Yeah, that one was the one I was looking for. <laughs> so let's go with that one. And oof, I don't know. Maybe let's start with that and see how that looks. <laughs> oh, you can barely see it. But yeah, I think that works. Sure. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and then he's got this um, nice beige jacket and jeans on. It's a very nice outfit, actually. So let's see what I can find that looks similar to that. I'm thinking it should be something practical. But um, hmm. maybe it doesn't have to. I mean, if he's working as a bartender. Right, so I've reached the sort of loose dress shirts that I was thinking might be working but um, hmm. finding a brown one is actually pretty impossible <laughs> but um, yeah something like this might work hmm. I don't think I want it to be completely tucked in though just it gives a completely different vibe from what he's got from the start which is a bit annoying <laughs> This could be interesting. I don't often use this, but maybe this is the way to go. Just a flannel shirt over a black t-shirt. Got this in brown in that case. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one, actually. Yeah. So let's find some nice um, jeans for him then. Could go with this. Yeah. Let's go with those. Yeah, looking good. Sure, he can keep the ones he already has. Yeah, I think I'm just going to give him this sort of cheap looking <laughs> suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll just give him this with something. Yeah, that works. Yeah, just black underwear. Yeah, he could just wear the uh, pants he already has for out, um, yeah, outerwear. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Cool. And I'm just going to briefly change him into his swimsuit so I can give him body hair as well. I don't think he should have too much. So let's see what set three looks like on him. Yeah, that works. Then I can remove these things. And you can change back into your everyday. Nice. So we've got Chase looking handsome here. Very good. And let's move over to Rebecca. I think that she will be more of a challenge, honestly. Because I need to look, make her look um, like slobby and <laughs> things. Let's see what I can find. Right, so she's got this very clean cut, sharp edges <laughs> hairstyle from the start. Yeah, let's see what I can find. I mean, she could definitely have something wild like this, right? <laughs> Just bunch it all together. Yeah, it's an idea. She could have this, uh, you know, Brandy Bro hair style. It's actually pretty fitting. It's got the bangs. And I'm actually pretty pleased with this because it's, yeah, it uh, has hair hanging down, looking a little bit sloppy, but also very practical. Miss keeping the, the bangs that she had from the start. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. So let's see if I can find a good, um, good alternatives to this for other clothes so maybe something else for formal you know, this could be an acceptable alternative but it doesn't look very you know formal wear 
Yeah, I'm going to say maybe this one. Yeah, this could be a thing because then the bangs could be sort of swooped to the side. I guess. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this was not very easy. And most of the hairstyles I have looked to, you know, shiny and styled in comparison to the first one. So honestly, I think that I just have two good options. And it's this one. And uh, yeah, they don't really combine that well either, though. So I guess maybe I'm just going to have to have her wear this all the time, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm <laughs> ending up after all of this. So let's move over to eyebrows. No, I think the first ones were the best one for her. And let's go with the makeup. She didn't have any makeup on from the start. I guess we're looking for a clean face. Yeah, let's go with this one, I think. Yeah, all right. And now over to the biggest challenge, <laughs> I think, the clothes. Yeah, an oversized hoodie could work, but uh, this one and this one looks a bit sporty. These are just colored, yeah. No prints on these ones. Mm. Something like this could work as well. Yeah, I've got these with uh, very interesting prints on them. <laughs> that could be an idea as well. Hmm, kind of like this. Makes me think of Pippi Longstocking for some reason. <laughs> I guess it's the red hair as well. I'm going to add that because I think maybe I'm going to go with this one. And this is oversized like um, the shirt she's wearing right now is. That could work as well. <laughs> well, she was into sports, so I guess <laughs> I could go with this. No, I don't think so. And this could be an idea as well. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, I think that this one was the best one in that case. So let's save that one for later as well. Mm, yeah, maybe this could work. <laughs> I mean, this is not bad. There's a matching pants to this as well. Yeah, I'm just putting a bunch of stuff in her basket right now. <laughs> let's see what... Um, Ends up being the perfect thing. Got these two. Well, she's like wearing pajama pants right now. And I don't feel like that would work with this. But it's got the right vibe for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Looking at these options, I think maybe... Let's try the Mickey Mouse combination and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the pants that's going with this shirt it's very matchy also got this maybe this works better yeah i think i'm gonna go with that yeah yeah so let's remove this she can get those as a later point if i change my mind <laughs> so let's try those on her and see what they look like yeah, I think that's going to work really well. Yeah, let's give her that one. Hmm. Yeah, I think something like this might be perfect for her. Let's give her that one. Oh, it actually has that hairstyle for her now. I thought I changed that. I guess I'm gonna have to fix. Well, I mean, doesn't look too bad actually in game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let her keep it actually. <laughs> okay, so outerwear. <laughs> now let's see what you can choose from over here. Yeah, I think <laughs> let's go with this uh, orange puff puffer jacket, but not these pants. <laughs> oh she can actually have this yeah maybe not the orange one then what else can I combine it with 
Yeah, let's go with this pale purple. Yeah, good. And change back into your everyday. Cool, so it actually worked out. <laughs> nice. Okay, continuing with the teen. Right, so he's got this kind of hairstyle. I think I have something very similar to this, to be honest. Yeah, that's very similar. Question is if I like it. It's very extra. <laughs> but yeah, let's give him that for now. And he's got those glasses on. So they're shades, not actually eyeglasses. So I guess he would have something similar if I can find it. Well, I've got this, but I mean, these ones feel more like a fashion choice for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really make sense that he would be going around just in in sunglasses all the time. So maybe I should interpret it as he's just needing glasses. And then these ones could work, because if I just remove the glasses, it looks very like something is missing on his face, right? So I think I'm just going to go with these ones. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this and see. And well, <laughs> so he's got this very interesting outfit on. Let's see what I can find that looks similar. Yeah, this could be interesting. It's not a puffer jacket, but it has like, yeah, a, um, yeah, the kind of vibe that I'm looking for, I think. The other option is to give him um, something like this. But then the red disappears. But I mean, that could be a valid exchange. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Let's try and see what pants I can find. Mm. This would give him the red on the shoes, at least. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, and we're never going to have time to see his outerwear anyway, so eh, I'm not even going to pick anything, I don't think. Okay, so let's just see about the every day, because I think, unfortunately, the pants might be cutting through the shirt. Let's see if he moves a bit. Hmm. It might be fine. Yeah, I think it's fine, actually. I think it's just like the corner here. <laughs> so yeah, I can live with that. Great. Now we just have a little Travis left to do. So his hairstyle is pretty neat, actually. Yeah, I guess this would be the closest. Nice. And then, yeah, some sort of t-shirt and jeans. Hmm. I think I might, in that case, want to go with something like this. The options I have. Let's see also the outfits. Yeah, this could work. For this, he was into fitness, so it's a bit sporty. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I could go with this sort of hoodie as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. I don't know if we're ever going to see him in <laughs> um formal outfit, but might as well have one that looks okay. Well, they might not be attracted to each other, but uh, she's going to give him a big sloppy kiss anyway. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, what? He doesn't have any of this in his wardrobe? What do you have then, kid? Nothing? Take that one then, I guess. Oh, you had this one. Sure. Him we might actually see in his uh, winter clothes. Let's give him this one then for outerwear. Okay, nice. Have you suddenly found attraction for each other now? No. Not at all. <laughs> okay. 
Well, yeah, it's an interesting relationship, isn't it? It makes me wonder if this kid is actually Chase's or if he's someone else's kid, really. But that Chase, for some reason, took Rebecca in. I mean, if she's in a desperate situation financially and they have been friends since university, but what would be in it for him then? Hmm. Maybe his visa had expired <laughs> and he had to get married to stay in the country. <laughs> that could be a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that. His visa had <laughs> expired, so he had to get married and she had a baby on the way um, that she felt like wanted, needed a dad and they were very close friends. Um, so... They liked each other well enough, so they sort of made it work, <laughs> I guess. But that also is interesting with like, oh, how's that going to work? Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, he's got a job now, so I guess he could have a job visa now. So it might have been like a previous situation that they went through. So yeah, I'm actually going to see like if they are... Um, gonna stick together or not moving forward because they might be more like friends with benefits right now <laughs> than they are actually you know the one true match for each other or what i should say cool well that is actually the family done then and uh, i can go ahead with the uh, yeah the apartment furnishing so the apartment was both pretty big looking and also fresh when I started out. So I knew that I wanted to change the wallpapers at least, just so that the vibe was a lot more, you know, run down, garish, old. Like someone had lived here for a long time, but they haven't hadn't afforded to switch things out <laughs> in a long time. So yeah, I changed around the, the coloring of the um, paneled walls as well and then I realized that oh right I need to actually get them some money to be able to furnish this so I had Rebecca take out uh, 25,000 simoleons in loans um, and that was to furnish the apartment but they're not gonna keep all the money either so you're gonna see what happens later so of course the interior needed to be a um, great mismatch of stuff and uh, I wanted it to feel like they had gotten most of the furniture from thrift shops or like a garage sales <laughs> or maybe they have been gifted some furniture <laughs> things like that um, so yeah things are definitely not matching maybe they are somewhat <laughs> in some ways it's not like um, making your eyes bleed I don't think <laughs> at least my eyes don't bleed looking at this but uh, it definitely doesn't look like it was designed by anyone, <laughs> that's for sure. And I wanted to put in a lot of details that um, made it feel like it was theirs as well. Lived in and um, just like these posters and sports stuff for Rebecca and a band poster, of course, as well. And yeah, lots of nice pillows, even though they are <laughs> not matching in the least. And uh, yeah a throne over bed cover like that and of course Rebecca is super 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 <laughs> sloppy <laughs> so I wanted to incorporate that as well and the guitar in the corner as well and a little lantern and of course this nice hula dancer uh, light that's looking really nice and kitschy in here <laughs> and then I'm moving on to the children's bedrooms and you know, similarly to the parents' rooms, I wanted to be sort of thrown in things that they would need, but with some more personal stuff as well. And I don't think that either boys would have picked out bed covers with flowers on them, but that's sort of what they got. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they have some uh, other covers on top to make it look more, more to their tastes, I think. And of course, these wallpapers are just horribly amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing that the carpet is so neutral, otherwise it would have looked 
insane, I think. <laughs> Some decorations here on the walls to fill things out. And um, yeah, it became a bit sciencey for some reason in this room, but um, yeah, I don't really think that that is, you know, this kid's, I think his name is Travis's style. Um, he was into fitness after all, and yeah. But we'll have to see, maybe he has some uh, science enthusiasm as well, who knows. <laughs> I was starting to look at graffiti in this room, but uh, then I, I found a nice crack in the wallpaper that I felt like this would be a good place for it. Um, it would have been that or a stain or something like that. Um, that was what I was looking for. And of course, uh, Tiav is into music, so I put in a lot of LP CDs under the bed and such on the floor here in this um, um, unit as well. And of course, say a stereo to play the records on. And a nice red light to give some mood lighting that I have actually liked doing a lot in downtown for the teenagers. And then I had to take a long, hard look at this big room to sort of figure out where everything would go. It wasn't like a perfect spot for the kitchen. So I ended up putting it into this corner and well, it wasn't a perfect solution because I couldn't find a natural place for a fridge. So I ended up going with this mini fridge that's actually a modded version. So it works almost the same as a normal fridge, even though it's so small. So yeah, they're able to cook all the different dishes <laughs> and such from that. So. Yeah, very cramped kitchen. But uh, yeah, that's sort of what they had space for. <laughs> and they actually had to put in that mini fridge in front of the, um, the window, like I hate doing. <laughs> I hate having things show through the windows like that. But well, this was something freestanding at least. It wasn't like a mounted cupboard <laughs> sitting in, in the window. So it was okay. Yeah, some uh, more paintings and stuff here, some curtains and uh, yeah, a um, towel as well to make things feel more homey. <laughs> and then next we're moving on to the living room part of this with a uh, nice um, well sat down sofa <laughs> in a nice uh, brown color, an armchair and like a very dirty rug <laughs> put in there. Actually, I managed to put in a little plant there as well, but it looks a bit sad in the corner, <laughs> I have to admit. And yeah, for some reason it felt like there needed to be something in the middle of the room in here, so I put in a huge drum set. <laughs> uh, because yeah, both uh, Chase and Tiav has the music hobby, so I felt like they needed to have at least one instrument each. And the drum set made sense for their characters, I thought, so in the middle it went. I have a little computer corner and I'm adding in some more decorations. And for some reason I felt like, you know, that traffic cone, this just needs to be in this apartment. I don't know why it stood out to me so much, like it needed to be here, but it just belonged for some reason. So <laughs> in it went and uh, yeah, it sort of created that like, you know, don't slip warning or something like that when you are rounding the drum set. So yeah, I guess it makes somewhat sense <laughs> to have it there. I made short work of the bathroom and then put in a town control clock and a phone. Okay, well, welcome to mismatched hell, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this became just amazing. Okay, <laughs> let's stop staring at that and let's see about, well, so it's Monday, so she has the day off work and I've been moving her around, so yeah, he also has the day off work, so we're gonna have time to get to know them a bit better. Uh, the kids need to leave for school though, of course. And yeah, I should also take care of the money. 
So let's just go with money minus 1100. Then they have very little left. Um, but yeah, that's sort of what I'm thinking that she has a bunch of loans, but she doesn't have the money anymore <laughs> either. So she can't enjoy that. Um, and she can't pay it back yet either. I'm kind of fine with him not having any loans. So I think that's okay. So why don't you uh, walk to school? And you should also walk to school. As for these guys, uh, I think they should probably head upstairs. Maybe have some breakfast together. Now Chase is... Um, Definitely the one with the best cooking skills right now. They both want to make friends and have parties. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just head upstairs and you can... Um, yeah, maybe let's um, serve something like this instead. Let's go with that. And apparently she is into film and literature as well because she's... Reading on her way up to the apartment. Yep. Right. So maybe I should just start her off checking who she can chat with. Some Eric, apparently. And Ray. Okay, there was some error, apparently, with this. Oh, is it because it's sitting on... Oh, oh no, it disappeared. <laughs> hmm. That's strange. I guess let's put in a nice mismatched counter as well then. Oh, this is going to cut through the window. My nemesis. How about... This one? Let's go with that. Hopefully that works better. So I guess I'm just going to have him try it again just to see how it works. Okay, well, so far she knows that the two guys who's not her husband is very unattractive as well. Okie dokie. So let's see if this works better then. Yes, okay. So it's something with it sitting on that fridge. doesn't like for some reason. Okay, they're starting to talk about traveling, I guess. They have some dreams what to do, but they need to <laughs> work to earn money, I guess. That means that hard hat. Mr. Humble has been here, apparently. Let's see. Yep, here's his package. Yep, <laughs> definitely talking about putting in the hours to earn money for a journey somewhere, I guess. Okay, so what does she want to do? She wants to earn a skill point and buy a bunch of stuff. Well, I mean, they are autonomously being very sweet with each other. So it's also possible that, you know, even if this was born out of not out of attraction. They are in love. Mm. He does want to woohoo, so I guess I can arrange that for them. They are alone at home. After all, kids are out. Well, you don't need to both clean up at the same time. You can put away the leftovers instead. Oh. <laughs> so this fridge doesn't have an animation at all for putting away the leftovers. Okay, <laughs> at least it works. Um, okay, do, who do we have on the chat now? We have some more people, so I'm just going to have him uh, meet them as well. She is very interested in cuisine, though. And also arts and crafts. Maybe putting in an easel isn't the worst idea in the world. Maybe I can have the phone somewhere else. Mm, that's a 
it's a stupid place for it. <laughs> um, I mean, it can be in the kitchen. Let's put it there. And do they have money for an easel? Yes, this one they have money for. So let's grab that one. So even though she technically is into sports, she's also extremely lazy. So I don't think that she would practice any sports at all. Uh, I guess she would just be interested in, you know, watching sports on the TV. Or if there's a game in town or something like that. But uh, yeah. And they should probably get a move on if they want to woohoo before the teenager arrives home. So just going to have them relax as well on the bed. Let's just hurry this along because <laughs> don't have much time left. So I don't have risky woohoo in my game, but something that I've been doing lately playing on my own is rolling a d10 whenever I feel like my sims aren't that careful <laughs> um, just to add in that possibility. And I think it would be a bit fun to have an oops baby <laughs> with this couple. So I'm actually gonna, you know, do that. Uh, I'm gonna roll a d10 and if I get the number one, she becomes pregnant. No, I got the number four, so it didn't happen this time. But uh, I can keep doing that. Let's see what happens. So that fulfilled his want to do, do that. And uh, I guess they have to... Hurry to get up and get dressed again. Right, so I think that um, maybe it's a good idea to ask Rebecca to check the chat as well. Um, just to meet some more people. Ray, she's already met. Oh, Tiav brought a friend home today. And that is Rose Miller, who is actually not related to. That is interesting. Um, yeah, you don't have to perform in your own home, you know. <laughs> no one's going to tip you over here. But um, yeah, you can play guitar if you want. Um, yeah, so Tiav hasn't shown any interest in Rose yet. But I can have him check her out <laughs> and see what happens. Oh, no, that's not your bedroom. Um, I'm going to put this one in here instead. Okay, so where is Rose? She's on the way up, so I'm just going to wait for her for a bit. Maybe turn on the TV. Yep, yeah, there she is. So check her out and see what he thinks. Oh, no, he doesn't think anything of her. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this is just a friendship then. But he can um, also go ahead and meet some more people here. Yeah, those were the only ones. She is done. Um, hmm. She met Celeste. But I don't think that that's a natural friendship to build because she's a lot older and also... They come from very different social classes as well, so I don't see how they would have befriended one another. So I think I'm going to not focus on that, and she can just go back to painting. No, oh, Eric is back on the chat. <laughs> okay, well, so far he hasn't really shown interest in... in Lakshmi either, but of course he hasn't seen her yet, so... Um, actually, I thought that Rose was a romance sim. Usually pleasure sims and romance sims get along well. Let me just see. Yeah, she's a romance sim. Hmm. I guess that their star signs are really incompatible then. I guess this affects it a little bit too, but... He likes overweight vampires. <laughs> But he doesn't like aliens. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, so maybe this is not going to be a thing, but I guess they can just um, hang out for a bit now that she's here anyway. Yeah, you don't need to <laughs> play the drums. Okay, and apparently this chair is in the way anyway, so I'm going to have to move the drum set slightly, I guess. And yeah, I can just move them into his room because I like <laughs> the um, visuals of that. Uh, but yeah, this has to go, let's put it like that, I guess. Yeah, let's try that. Wants to dance with someone. Well, maybe he can turn on the music and they can dance later. <laughs> Okay, so they're starting to get a bit hungry here, but it's fine so far. I think they can wait until dinner. Hmm, he could potentially befriend Ray, because Ray is the older brother. Might get along better with his younger brother, though. The party guy. <laughs> Right, so little Travis should be home from school. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that this is the first child I'm plopping down in downtown. I'm gonna just sort on child in my spreadsheet. Yeah, so I do have six children though in the hood. Although I haven't placed them down yet. So he's not gonna have much luck, but he he re-rolled the befriend gain a friend want anyway so i guess that's fine but uh yeah so he's gonna have a few kids to play with eventually anyway that's good well why don't you just play with your teddy bear for a bit oh you're dancing now why don't you dance together then nice oh it wasn't very long, okay. He wants to play with, so let's just tickle her. And what else? Stay home from work. You don't even have work today. Play catch. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's see if they can um, make friends, if they just chat for a bit more. They're talking about prison. <laughs> Crime, I guess. Yeah, this is a... Crime riddled area. Someone put, so it should put them to justice. <laughs> okay, good. They made friends. And that was actually one of her wants, seems like. That's nice. And it seems like a pretty unlikely friendship, this, but uh, they're actually getting along really well. <laughs> so. But I think that's good enough for now. He can ask her to leave. So he has this want to become fit. He can't afford any exercise machine, though, so that won't work. He won't really gain much fitness from just, you know, jump jacking or <laughs> working out with the stereo or TV. So I think I'm just going to have to wait until there's a gym set up in town. And uh, he can just, I don't know, play drums or something. <laughs> Let's see if he can access this now. And Chase can actually go ahead and serve up dinner. Or, well, it says lunch still, but... Actually, do you know Orion? He was in the chat. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, we have some uh, of his uh, siblings that uh, are also into music and dance. Might be an interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, he can access this now. That's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot something important, and that is the coffee machine. Let's put one in. Oh, but actually, <laughs> I keep forgetting that they are super poor, <laughs> so they can't even afford that. Um, can you even nap when he's playing. Let's see. Yeah, actually she can. I guess she thinks it's soothing then. 
<laughs> I guess since she's lazy, she can sleep through anything. Okay, let's serve up some um, goopy carbonara. Okay, and he has actually gained enough uh, fun. No, just playing with his teddy bear, that's nice. Can have you use the bathroom as well then. And I don't think you have anyone to chat with, right? No, no one. So he has a bunch of wants here that's uh, pretty difficult to fulfill. I guess he could go and play catch with someone later. That could work. Yeah, with his mother, probably. Oh, nice. He gained another cooking skill. Actually needed that for his job. Nice. Then he just needs one in cleaning. Maybe I should prioritize that. But that's mechanical, though, for some reason that he wants, but yeah. Right, they're gonna sit down to eat as a family. Oh god, she's <laughs> she's so sloppy, she's sitting with her hands. Ah. There's no such thing as magic. <laughs> it's just in the movies. You gotta grow up fast, kid. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so she desperately needs to use the bathroom. I guess she can take a bubble bath. And what about you? Yeah, I guess you can just go back to practicing. Gonna have to work on the homework later. He needs to take a nap. He can do that. Actually, it looks like Chase could use another plate. Of pasta, so someone's calling Tiav, so I'm gonna have him answer that. Oh yeah, that will woke Travis up. Okay, you can actually go back to napping for a bit. Oh nice, it's Rose. Oh, they've actually slipped down from friends, so <laughs> I guess I'm gonna bring his social down a bit so they can talk for a while. Yeah, looks like Rebecca has had her bath, so I'm going to ask her to also play catch with her son. Oh, she wasn't really done yet, so. <laughs> okay, nice. You can put those leftovers away. And actually, you need to sleep for a bit. <laughs> it's very early, but yeah. Or maybe he can nap in the, yeah, he can snooze in this armchair. Hey, kid, don't you want to? Play catch. Wake up. Mm, can't you sit in it? That's strange. This armchair is normally accessible on the diagonal. Is it in a weird spot, maybe? Hmm. That's odd. What if I put this on one of the object rotators here? How about now? Yeah, now it works. Okay, <laughs> sure. Actually, the sofa is free now, though, so maybe you should nap on that instead. Oh, no. Did you? Yeah, the routing failed. Okay, let's try this again. Play catch. Nice. Oh, he wants to learn how to study now. Well, that's actually a good... Um, um, a good activity for both of you because you're like equally as tired. So maybe she should help him with his homework instead. If okay, <laughs> Simon, can you get away from the kid, please? <laughs> Creepy neighbor. Let's see if they can successfully route upstairs then. Looks like it. He's recovered a bit now, so he can have a shower and then probably help Tiav with his homework as well. Oh, but he's also very tired. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going around right now. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people on here now. Yeah, you don't know if Rikorth can meet him. Where are you now? No. Come here. No, come here. What are you... God! <laughs> this guy. Not getting along with his neighbors, looks like. Oh! Well, this is interesting. She's actually gained a uh, an attraction bolt for him now. 
that can happen when they are like growing closer with their relationship. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Maybe they actually have um, gained feelings for each other despite it all. You know what? She's actually too tired. She's gonna have to go to bed. How about you? You you could actually do it. But he is also really tired, so let's just <laughs> just have him have a nap for a bit first. And yeah. But maybe Chase can start with Tiav. Oh nice. Of course. Go here. We're gonna play this game today. Okay, now, yes, good. Now it worked. He could actually eat something again as well. Maybe I should do that before he goes to bed. Yeah, you can take care of the kid then. He also needs to do his homework. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have you given up? Yeah. How far did he get? 36. Well... Yes, let's keep going tomorrow, but where is, uh, oh, well, they can't get leftovers at all from this fridge. Okay. <laughs> well, have a snack then, I guess. You can just nap for a bit more. Things are so much easier when they can actually afford a, <laughs> a coffee machine. Is there, yeah, it's just this little light in the corner here and it's not giving up any light <laughs> in here. Uh, yeah. Somehow he can see anyway to do his homework. What are you doing? Are you gonna faint? Okay, so let's see if the bin works the way it is. Yes, perfect. Okay. This is your bed, use that one. And yes, nice. So little Travis learned how to study. He can go to bed and uh, Rebecca is really tired, but let's see if they want to do another woohoo. Let's see if I can have that oops baby <laughs> or not. Yeah, they're gonna stop the interaction if I don't start just having the woohoo. And I'm going to roll the d10. Nope. Number five. No baby this time. Yeah, they, they surely wouldn't try for a baby, so I'm not going to have them do that. All right, so let's speed through the night and uh, play another day. And yeah, also save. <laughs> Just in case. Hey, good morning, everyone. New day, new possibilities. And of course, Rebecca's bank loan account has gained interest. So that's fun. <laughs> well, she's going to go to work today. Um, oh, hmm. I feel like she should probably be stuck at this job until she can find something in journalism. So I'm going to actually give her a job stopinator. Since Chase has the NPC job though, he's not going to get a different job if he gets promoted. He's just going to get slightly more money. Um, okay, let's, um, hmm. let's give her life of luxury. So she builds with vacation days quicker. Same for him. And he can get the <laughs> much needed slower in the decay for energy. Nice. How about you? Okay, you're nearly there, hopefully. So let's see here. He also has work today, but in the evening though. So he can use today to build his cleaning skill, hopefully. Uh, how about you? Yeah, you also have work today. So they're going to bring in a little bit of money today, at least. That's good. Looks like he needs to get up and use the bathroom. Oh, you actually didn't finish your homework, but you, okay, you learned how to <laughs> study anyway. I see. Okay, so he woke up having romance on his mind, I see. Well, so far he 
hasn't met anyone that he's attracted to, so I'm gonna have to see about that. You can go ahead and serve breakfast today. Right, and you can go up and also use the bathroom. Get ready. Rebecca is definitely sleeping in though, being so sloppy as she is. Or lazy, I should say. <laughs> yeah, she needs to get up and use the bathroom, but you know, being so uh, sloppy as she is, I don't think she would um, shower before work. Only having uh, half the bar empty. So let's wait until she gets really stinky, I guess. <laughs> No, him being a secondary romance sim uh, means that eventually I'm sure I'm going to give him the massive attraction trait as well. So it's possible that their attraction is going to build even further after that is done. Just going to have him go around and make up the beds. Oh, I guess the school bus is here. Right, so she's going to be back at three. And he, uh, he's leaving in the evening, so they're going to have time to meet up after work as well. That's good. Okay, she needs another sandwich. Might as well eat it since they can't keep leftovers, apparently. Talking about the never stopping rain. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm trying to think who would be a good friend for her. Uh, she's wanted that for a while now, and... I mean, he too, so I should probably lock those ones in. Um, now, looking at the people that I've been playing with so far, I have someone in mind that's a bit older, but I don't remember her name. <laughs> I'm trying to find it here. Oh yeah, Lindsay Wilson is the one I'm thinking of. She's a very sciencey sim, who's into dance as well knowledge family so maybe i mean it's not <laughs> they are close in age but i don't think they have much in common other than that hmm. who do we have on the uh, chat you can meet dominic i don't think you've met him yet you can probably also meet dominic after this oh wait a minute it's 10 p.m not a.m Oh, they're both going to be away <laughs> in the middle of the night. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that works. Uh, you don't need to <laughs> uh, play drums, though. Now that you're going to be home, you can take a shower after all. Um, you can let that one sit out just in case one of you wants it later. Um, yeah. So I was gonna have him work on cleaning today right so study cleaning oh no first meet Dominic before I forget and then study cleaning wow you're yawning at meeting people aren't you a popularity sim <laughs> he's also very outgoing so I don't know what that's about <laughs> okay maybe it's because he's grouchy yeah right so they've got quite a lot of bills now spectacular <laughs> but uh yeah maybe if she gets better at painting she can hustle a bit on the side here also with, with three sims that's not uh, gonna work right now oh there's a fire out back okay hopefully the rain will soak it out yep it did Yeah, you know, I think actually this is could be a good friendships for him to pursue, both Ray and Dominic. So could have him call one of them up, see if they're home later. She could actually eat again, so maybe I should um, have her grab this last sandwich before it goes bad. Well, she would eat it even if it went bad. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, the painting is done as well. 21 simoleons. <laughs> Well, at least it's something. It's more than they have, so nothing to scoff at, I guess. Oh, nice. 
again the cleaning skill. So why don't you see if one of the um, Grey brothers are home? Yeah, it was actually nice. Right, so she's done. No one interesting on the chat. So sell this. Oh, actually, she was a bit attracted to Dominic, though. I think he was also a pleasure sim, so that would make sense. Uh, no, actually, he was also popularity. Ah, it was Ray who was pleasure. That's interesting. No, that's secondary. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Ray was knowledge and Dominic was romance, actually. Oh, I see. Okay. Should we do another shaky woohoo before the teen is back from school? They have some more time today though, so I can just let them do things on their own. Um, since I'm using romantic standards, there are some auto socials, but uh, it often takes them a while to initiate the cuddle, so I can push that ahead for them. Um, but yeah, they're gonna do stuff on their own as well. But that also opens up a chance for them to actually try for a baby. So let's see what they choose. Ah, this is very fitting. When Tiav first began taking drum lessons at school, it was something like a stampede on the Serengeti. Things have changed. And recently Tiav's been rocking the house. So much so that he's been offered the first chair for percussionists in the school band. Tiav earns 200 simoleons from, from the school for extra performances he'll be attending. That's very welcome. <laughs> 200 simoleons is a lot in this household. Okay, so what did they pick? Woohoo. And I'm gonna roll the die again. Number two. So no baby. And you better hurry to get dressed because before the teenagers arrive. Oh, and he brought another friend home from school. That is Haley Dalton. Okay, so he's not attracted at all to Haley <laughs> either, so. Well, he wants to eat lunch probably. Learn how to make open faced salami sandwiches. Well, that's not difficult. Let's do that. And he's gonna leave pretty much immediately. So, well, I'm sorry, Haley, but uh, you know this has been a pattern that every time you come home to visit someone from school, you're always just asked to leave. The first thing that happens. I promise things will get better <laughs> when I actually play you and get to know you a bit. But yeah, I'm sorry, Haley. Poor Haley. <laughs> Yeah, so he's still thinking about having a party. But he really needs to meet some more people before then. I don't think there's anyone interesting on the chat right now. He hasn't met the neighbors yet, though. So I guess maybe he can um, meet them, but they're not outside right now. So I think it's time for you to leave for work. Yep. I can hit another one. Well, actually, that's not a good idea because he's not going to have an appetite for dinner later. <laughs> hmm, tricky, tricky. Maybe, yeah, let's just do it anyway. Maybe they won't have a normal dinner today. She can also sit down to eat then. Okay, he wants to have a bubble bath, so please go ahead. Can clean this up. Hmm, very classy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you wouldn't clean up. I'm oh, sorry. I should have remembered. Uh, yeah, just go back to painting, I guess, because there's no one on the chat for you to <laughs> befriend yet. Okay, we have a chance card. A co-worker is selling ballet tickets for the famous Simtopia ballet troupe, and Tiav snatches them up for what he thinks is a bargain. 
He later learns, however, that the tickets are actually for the touring troupe and not the actual Simtopia troupe. Should Tiav go back to the co-worker and ask for a discount or just accept the original selling price? Well, they don't have money enough, so I guess he would ask for a discount. Tiav argues his case to his co-worker, but his co-worker is adamant and will not budge on the original selling price. Tiav is dejected and sells the tickets to someone else for less, taking a small loss on the tickets. That's a shame. But yeah, he wouldn't be able to afford losing money like that, so... Oh hey, Travis has brought a friend home from school. Who is that? Dagmar Toyonaga. He wants to befriend her. Hmm, I think actually I'm not gonna have them hang out. Just because I haven't played with her yet, so I I probably want to do that first. But at least they know each other now, and um, yeah, maybe they want to become friends later, who knows. Yeah, he needs fun again, so I think I'm just going to have him play with his bear again. It was a winning strategy yesterday, so... Okay, why don't you just snooze for a bit? Keep your energy up for work later. She probably also needs to go to sleep for a bit later. For the same reason. Hmm, 138. Is that enough to buy a coffee machine? Probably not. Oh, it is actually. Yeah. Okay, good. So they can get one. Yeah, that's a good spot for it, I think. Nice. And actually, you don't have to nap. You can uh, serve coffee. Or is that in the way? I guess I have to take it further forward a bit. What about now? Yeah, now it works. Yeah, let's see if she can finish this because then she can bring in a little bit more money to the family. Yeah, he's gone to... Okay, he's just relaxing, but I think he can sleep for a while and then um, get up and do his homework. We can just play some drums, I guess. Nice, so let's see here. Oh, she gained another um, creativity skill. That's cool. So I'm going to lock in the seven one here. Sell that. And then uh, head to bed for a bit. Oh, oh, she, yeah, it wasn't a masterpiece, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good, but not quite that good. It's probably fine for Travis. Change back into your everyday. And let's do your homework. So she's going to leave at nine and he's going to leave at seven. Yeah, and Tiav will age up into a young adult tomorrow as well. Which incidentally leaves an empty bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to be around home around the same time. He's going to be home a little bit earlier than her. So maybe they can make a final attempt. <laughs> Not attempt. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to keep thinking about that. Because maybe they actually do want to have a kid. Because they're going to have an empty room and, I mean, it seems like they do want to keep staying together. They have gained some attraction and as far as we can observe, they are getting along really well. So it's possible that they want to keep this up. So yeah, I mean, he's a re in a really good mood and he knows the skills that he needs to know. There's no friend requirement, so it's very possible that he's going to be promoted today. That would be nice. You can actually just head downstairs and meet your neighbor before work. No, you don't need to paint on your mother's easel. Did you? Oh, he actually finished up with his homework. That was quick work. Um, hmm. Yeah. Why don't you eat that sandwich? 
You can grab another one. Yeah, these builds are going to be a problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, she slept enough now, I think. So why don't you use the bathroom? She can meet Trista. This could be a potential friendship. Oh, yeah, they went bad, so... He was into fitness, so I guess he can go down here and jump rope for a bit. It's gonna be very brief though. Nice, so yeah. You can start another painting, why not? <laughs> You're gonna have to um, do your homework as well. Oh yeah, but hmm, both his parents are gonna be away. Maybe they should just hurry so he can get some homework help very quickly before she leaves, actually. Didn't think of that. Oh, are you gonna be difficult? Okay, good. Yeah, he's really tired now, so just gonna have him use the bathroom and then go to bed. Shouldn't need a lot, so it should work. Yes, nice. It's gonna need to do something very fun after this, though. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just, just watch on TV? That should be fun enough. And you need to actually go downstairs because your carpool is gonna be here any moment. Uh, weird chance card is being weird. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take ignore. You just change this around so you can actually get some fun from this. I want you to watch the sim station dance. Yeah, she's leaving for work. Good. Nice. So can you finish up with your uh, homework now? Hopefully. Yeah, so it's not uh, applicable for any scholarships right now, so... He hasn't even got an uh, A+. Plus. And he's just level 1 in his career as well, so there's no hope there. Yeah, let's just go, go to bed. Alright, so I'm just gonna you know, speed through until the parents are home, and uh, hopefully I can have them try for baby one last time. Well, woohoo, and roll the die, that is. <laughs> Right, so we have Chase back home, but he's uh, exhausted, so I'm just going to send him to sleep first thing. Let's see if he can make it upstairs. Oh, he wasn't promoted. Oh, that's a shame. He's probably going to get promoted tomorrow, though. That's good. We should have Rebecca home soon. Nice and stinky. <laughs> yeah, she actually has enough energy to at least stay awake if I ask her to relax. Oh my god, there's even flies following her. Dear me. Oh no, okay, no, I, I can't stand this. I'm sorry, I can't stand this. <laughs> you have to take a shower, I can't. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not with the flies. That's just one level too much. <laughs> This stink cloud I could do with, but not that. Oh, classy. Peeing in the shower as well. Well, I guess it's efficient. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm gonna have to be really quick about this because she's gonna give up at once. I think it's working. So I'm rolling the die again. Number two. I'm sorry. We're not going to have a baby. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Gonna have to see next time. If I decide to actually go for it, or um, yeah, if I keep going with the, the risky woohoo. Alright, but that is a very late night end for this family, and the end of this episode. 
Well, this was interesting. I mean, it's a very nice contrast to have after the uh, more wealthy families that we've been playing as well. Knowing the high rise building, not to mention. Uh, so having this um, family being very poor and struggling is making things a bit more dynamic, I guess. And it's also interesting to see another family unit that one of the teens have been um, born into, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, John Smith has been um, meeting all kinds of women for some reason. And well, I think that I have decided that this is actually their kid. Because they got along so well. Maybe they're, you know, this was out of convenience. But it could also be that she became pregnant while they were having their friends with benefits relationship as well. So they sort of went for it. Because I did select this kid for them because he looks like a blend of them as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick to that. <laughs> it is actually their child. <laughs> Yeah, an interesting uh, family unit is surprisingly sweet, actually. So I hope that they can find some way to earn enough money to pay off those, those bills as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.